Hello guys, I am Devindu. In this video, we will see how we can use the map function in ReactJS. And at the end of this video, we will build some cool things. So, without wasting any time, let's start. I open our React app in the VS Code and also start the development server with the npm start. And our app is simple with just a one div and the text is hello world. You can see the output also is content hello world, a simple text. And in our app, we have one list and it is an array with containing something apples vegetable milk rice and bread values so our main objective is to build this type of div with not hard coded values of like this but the values should be come from this list so for values coming from the list we have one method and this is simply list positioning method just like list 0 and if i change it to list 1 Similarly, it is list 2, it's 4, it's 3, and if I delete this, okay, so if I save this, you can see in the output we have apples, vegetable, milk, rice, and bread. Similarly, what we have here with the positioning 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For better visualization, I write some CSS in the app.css and also give the class name of my div in the divs and you if you see the output you can see this type of output we get it is cool to have the better visualization of the component just like apple vegetables are in the separate way of visualization i personally like that method so in our case we have just only five element and for the five element it is okay to write code just like this and suppose someday we have one abc element then we just need to write another div with the element 5 and the element will be came here but suppose someday our list will become more than 100 element and so in that case we can't write the code like just like this and suppose if we write 100 lines of code like this if someday someone came and say we need to delete the milk so if i delete the milk the whole organize the whole structure of our code will be destroyed so it is not the ideal case or the ideal recommended way of writing the code like just like this and you can already realize that we need something looping type of function and in javascript or react we have one function called map i have written some description about the map function and also write one function which takes one argument or takes on parameter element and also it is console logging it so just see Without describing it now, just see how the map function works. So for working the map function, we just need to write our array name and then dot map and pass any function name. And in our case, I am just passing my func. And that's it. The whole syntax of map function is done. And you can also pass the entire function inside it without describing it separately, just like it. And also you can just as we are writing the whole function inside the map function we just don't need to write any name so it is just an anonymous function and if you are know the es6 syntax you can write any anonymous function just like this deleting the function and giving one arrow this is just a arrow function or es6 function of arrow so this is our entire map in map function syntax it's looking little bit of confusing that we are passing one function inside a function but in javascript everything has happened so just save this and see the output what will be the output so i am reloading this page you can see apple vegetable rice bread abc but where did the this is coming from we are just console logging the element which are the anonymous function inside our map but how can we get these values the main answer is the map function iterates each of the elements and passes the element value inside its passing function so inside inside this function the map function when iterates to apple it passes the apple value in element and this arrow function console logging the apple apple's value and secondly when after executing this the map function coming from to the second position and it is vegetable similarly vegetable coming from the element and also console logging similarly rice bread and abc is also console logging so this is everything our map function is doing 
and also our map function has one more parameter and it is called the index it can also show the index of the element value so i'm just writing index and also for better visualization i am just passing one string just like this so if i save this go to the output reload this page you can see zero one two three four it is just a syntax or the index and the apple vegetable rice bread abc it is just a value and also we get something like this why we get something like oh we just need to write class for concatenating not comma let's refresh this page and see zeros position we have apples one vegetable and just like this it's nice so we just see the function of the map function but it is not inside our j6 it is the outs it is inside our function so how can we use this map function inside the j6 the simple answer is just copy and paste it and as we wanted to write some javascript inside the j6 we just need curly braces and paste the entire map function indent properly and now without console logging just return one div similar like this and but inside here as it is the j6 we need to write some curly braces for the javascript variable it is a strange syntax actually that we are writing the j6 and inside j6 we are writing javascript and inside the javascript we are returning j6 and also in the returning j6 we are writing javascript so it might take some time to adjust but you will be familiar with this so i'm just passing the element so element value is just the the values here so just i am deleting this don't need to write these things and saving this also if we just returning one element you can omit the return statement and the curly braces just like this okay just like it is a simple syntax of map in just one line it's passing element and if we don't need index then we just deleting it and it is the arrow function it's returning one element that's why it's not required any curly braces and inside we have element which exactly the values will come here and execute this line so if i save this see the output boom it is the same syntax or the same type of output we are coming but if you see the console log there has a error error not exactly error it is a warning the each child in the list should have a unique key pro it is the warning coming from the react because the each element is just similar type of a structure so the react dom can't identify them separately so whenever we do anything just like this we just need to write some unique key in, inside our div the key will be not visible from the html but react dom will identify this element with the key and the key must be unique so in our case we have unique value okay so in our case we have unique value x index because index can't be same apple and apple and apple can be same abc can be also apples but the key index can't be same so the passing key as index saving this see the output also reload this page you can see the error is gone and also the structure is same also we have one extra apple this is exactly everything about map you can also write some logic inside the app function so i'm just separating it with curly braces case okay, and then returning this div also indenting properly so you can write some logic like if the index is odd then we need to pass something and if the index is even then we need to pass something so in this modulus 2 equals to equals to 0 then you can return it else return something else just like if it is not it is odd element just like this you can also do this type of things you see the output you can see apple odd vegetable rice odd bread apple 
this type of logic you can build inside the map function but be sure while you are returning the map function value by the way it will not be odd it will be even it will be odd uh, just doing some style also just like colon see output now odd apple even vegetable odd rice even bread odd apples you can do the similar type of structure or anything just like this and you can also write some more if statements inside it and also you if suppose you don't need to pass anything or return anything in one case you are just returning null also it will also count so just save these if you see you can see just odd values are passing because we are just returning null in the even cases so i think this is all about map just go for the description the map function actually create one new array by calling the function calling a function for every array element the map function is actually creating one new array and when it is trying to create new array it always run this function inside it and we are just using the properties of the map function for iterating each element and we are just returning uh, we are just not returning or creating any array just we are using the ability for iterating each element and we are just returning our required diff from the map map also calls function for each element in the array and map does not execute the function for empty element okay it's cool suppose our list element is empty if i save this you can see it will not work it will not returning anything or it will not run actually because map function only works whenever we have some values inside the list so it will does not work and also map does not change the original array i think this is all for this video in the next video we will build one project using the map function so if you don't wanted to miss that video then subscribe now and also like this video and comment out how you like this video and never forget to subscribe so see you in the next video bye bye subscribe please